Yes, ma'am. Um, I think Councillor Marks and Daisy was kind enough to say that I managed to dispel a few myths, and it's certainly true that there have been some myths that have been whizzing uh, around uh, about what that her motion suggests uh, might be sort of caught in with it. Um, I'm, quite, I'm quite sure that this was just that people didn't know that there were quite, it's quite a complex legal area and that um, there are exceptions and so on. Um, it's, there are, it is actually quite a complex legal area and one of the things that is fairly clear is that it isn't widely known that you don't need to have, a, have to apply for a license to be able for the, health, the environmental health officers to inspect a, a, a shared house and inspect it particularly for fire regulations. And they do. Uh, and uh, so many of the, 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 what you're suggesting, sorry Mr. Frank, what, what this motion is suggesting would be a benefit for um, improving the standards of the smaller shared houses is actually a piece of paper because there are things which are able to be done anyway. So I don't, I could not support the motion because it was, um, because there were things which were just not the case. Um, I therefore want to propose the amendment because I think this is, uh, there are things here which are factually the case. Uh, for uh, First and foremost, as Councillor Taylor has said, I do, we do not think that it is appropriate to be limiting and telling people you can't live in that street because there are too many of your kind. Sorry, that's not the way we go about things. I do, just do not think we go about things that way. The, the question of extending the licensing legally needs a trigger. And as Pew has kindly provided us with the legal definitions, it needs a trigger of uh, um, measures of complaints and problems. And that is why I'm suggesting in the amendment, or one of the reasons why I'm suggesting in the amendment, that we have an annual report so that we can keep an eye on that. And it might be that if the trigger, if you know, the, the, it goes over the tripwire, then consider what we do. But it doesn't, it doesn't go over the trip. A little while at the moment. Um, as far as the actual, as far as the motion is concerned, um, the third part of, sorry, as far as the amendment is concerned, the third part of, of the amendment is acknowledging that there are problems. Of course, there are problems, and we do need to deal with those problems as much as possible. And the environmental health people do try and cope with the problems, cope with the, um, um, with the complaints because there are there is a minority, tiny minority I'd like to say, the minority of tenants, is a minority of landlords who are not good neighbours. Actually, considering the well over five thousand shared houses in the city, if and in fact I'm sure each of us can sort of name the half dozen that cause us concern, or maybe it's slightly more in some ways. Um, it's a surprising number, perhaps, or a not surprising number, that we don't even mostly realise that there. So we go and look at a particular document like the electoral roll, which we have been looking at recently, most of us. I therefore want to uh, move the amendment, which goes back, takes well, a strong stand on one particular issue, but then corrects some other things, which I think misleading and have been misled, uh, have misled people in the original motion. I beg to move the amendment. Is there a second for 